high islands of the Pacific are formed by volcanic action and they form big rocky islands that allow reefs to grow around them. And around a typical high island, a fringing reef will grow, corals building up right around it. And as that fringing reef begins to get older and older and grow, it moves outward till eventually it forms a very large barrier reef around the whole island. Now the barrier reef is often pretty high, so there's a steep drop off on the outside of it. And it continues to grow as long as the growth of the coral can be faster than the erosion due to the waves coming in. Inside the lagoon here, corals also begin to grow. These are patch reefs that we see all through, say, the Ponte Lagoon. Now, the big high island is very heavy. It's the top of a sea mount, and its weight pushes down on the crust of the sea floor under, underneath, and gradually the whole high island sinks into the sea. And as it sinks, the coral keeps growing, and the island gets lower and lower and lower. Finally, it gets so low that it's just a shallows in the middle of a atoll this round ring. And finally, the entire center sinks out of sight. What we're left with is the original barrier reef, which now has islands on it itself. This is the accumulated sand from centuries, millennia, and millions of years of buildup. And at the end of this process, we've gone from a single high island to an atoll in the Pacific.